We've learned a lot so far, but we still have a bit to go before we're done with login. I'd like to show you how we're going to handle successful authentication by replacing the login view with a different view. How do we let the index, which is the root component for our app, know that a successful login happened? When you want to pass data to a child component in React, you use attributes on the component. When you want to let the parent component know that something has happened, you can do this on a callback. On successful login, we check whether an unlogin value was specified on the properties for the login component. If it was, we just call it as a function. Back in the index file, we now need to wire up the unlogin property so that we can hook into it and display a different view. To do this, I first need to create a function we can wire up. For now, I just log out a message to the console, nothing fancy. And over here in the JSX, I specify property on login and wire it up to the on login function that we just created. I want to quickly show you this message in the console, so I've brought up the Chrome Dev Tools in order for us to check the console output. I'm logging in with my correct credentials and... Cool! The index component has been notified of the successful login. We're going to show a different view based on state. And as I've mentioned before, when doing this, it's a good idea to set a default value for the state variable. Because this component is not an ESX class and is created using the react.create class function, we don't put the default state in the constructor. Instead, we provide a special function to the component called getInitialState. React will call this function if it exists and construct the component with the state that it returns. From here, we return an object literal with one variable for now, is logged in, which we return with a false value. I remove this login code over here and set the is logged in state value to true. Now that we're managing state, I can show you how to switch out the views. In the render function, we add an if else statement based on this is logged in state variable. We show the login component if this value is false. If it's true, however, we return a view with the container class containing a text component. We set the component to have a style called welcome and give it some text. When I log in with my correct credentials, it takes us to the correct view.